Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another PGA Tour 2K23 video. Today, we're taking on the brand new course they have in the game, Pinehurst number 2. And we're gonna do it with the US Open solo leader, Ricky Fowler. Oh my god, I'm absolutely buzzing that he's playing well. I mean, it's a long, long way to go until he actually wins the championship. Like, there's still 36 holes left, but I'm so happy to see Ricky, Ricky up there and competing. Considering I've been a fan of his for a long time, and these last few years being a fan of his have been a struggle up until this season really uh, where he started to finally turn it around and there's been some hope but last season i think actually this time last year during the u.s open he was outside the top 150 in the world and he missed I, I don't even think he played the u.s open or if he did he missed the cut anyway i can't remember exactly what happened but anyway uh let's jump in ricky fowler leads the way and we're gonna try out the brand new course pinehurst number two i've heard good things about this haven't got a chance to play it yet i did play three holes of it and ranked and the play player who was playing against me quit so uh <laughs> I haven't seen any more than three holes, but the three holes I did see looked pretty damn good. By the way, guys, I did want to implore you to go follow me on kickkick.com slash the Apex Sound. That's where the majority of my streams are going to be from now on. PGA Tour 2K23 ranked TGC Tours. If I decide to come back and play more of that, we'll be over on kick.com slash the Apex Sound. And of course, I'm going to be playing multiple games over there as well, like EA Sports, PGA Tour, F123, maybe, stuff like that. Kick just actually signed the, the biggest Twitch streamer in the world, XQC. So uh, I think it actually broke the entire site. Good thing I wasn't trying to stream last night or anything but yeah please do drop a like if you enjoy the 2k23 videos and want to see more if you want 20 percent off rogue energy you can use my code the apex hound i'm mixing strawberry mango with rainbow candy two of the newer flavors today ricky fowler looking good let's see if he can look good on out, out there on the golf course they don't have his glasses in here this is a travesty his sunglasses here to pinehurst north carolina we are playing pinehurst the number two course today pinehurst number two Let's see if we can go low. I oh shit, I'm playing on legendary difficulty. I'm pretty sure this is legend, is it? I'm pretty sure that's legend. I, I don't want to be playing on legend. I hit a hell of a shot for legend difficulty if this is, because it looked like the thing was tiny. Maybe it's master, we'll see. No, it's master, okay. It looked just like it was it was such a small sliver there for Ricky Fowler's driver. Okay. Second shot All good. here on the first. We're fine. Not a bad shot at all to start. Ricky Fowler, let's go low, baby. Oh, look at that swing. Beautifully done. What a start. This is how he's playing in real life. Oh, baby. Master difficulty. And Ricky Fowler puts it to a couple of feet. And we're playing just like Ricky Fowler is in real life. His, his round yesterday was a roller coaster. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see much of it because it's on so late for me. That now that it's on in LA, it kind of sucks for me. Um, like it, I think it went on to like 3 a.m. or some shit for me over here. Um, so I'm hope well, maybe not that late, but it was definitely like 1 or 2 a.m. it went on to. And uh, yeah, it was just a, it's just a little bit of a nightmare. I'm going to have to stay up late this weekend. Uh, I'm going to have to stay up real, real late. At least on Sunday, I'm definitely staying up if Ricky's in contention and DJ and McElroy and all them are still in contention. I, I mean, I have to. I haven't stayed up past about bloody 11 p.m. in uh, <laughs> in a long, long time, though. Jesus, that traveled all the way down there and somehow just stays out of the out of the rough. Luckily, Pinehurst looks good, though. You can see all of the all of the what do you even call this? Like, how, what, what is it called again? Pine? <laughs> you know? There you go. Um, I'm stupid. Okay, let's see. Do we want to hit this full? I would say yes, because 184 is going to be a little too risky. So I'm going to hit this. Play it off the, off the left a little bit, because wind is coming off the left, but lies above my feet. Hit it a little fast. That should be pretty good still. Go. Go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, Ricky. Trick Ricky. Oh, on Master Difficulty 2, it's like I never left the game, boys. It's like I never left the game. But yeah, I am monetized on Kick now as well, guys. So uh, I, I, I have subs enabled and all that stuff. And I'm working towards getting verification over there as well. So if you could support me on my endeavor, I'd really appreciate it. We have 150 followers nearly there. Let's see if we can uh, start with back-to-back -back birdies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, we can. Oh, yeah. well Ricky done. Fowler, the Don, the Don Matriarch of Golf. He's back, baby. Even if he doesn't win from here, it's so good to see him up there in contention. The game of golf is just better with Ricky up there uh, and playing well rather than, than struggling. Okay, I think I'm just going to hit a three wood here. Beautiful. Beautiful little three wood. That's why I decided to hit a three wood because I didn't want to go into that bunker up there. And that's a good decision, I think. 
Pinehurst is running though. It's firm, huh? Ooh, that's good. That's good. Strawberry mango mixed with rainbow candy. Try it out, guys. You can get a starter pack of Rogue Energy for like less than 20 bucks as well using my code. So give it a shot. See what you think. It's worth a go. Oh, Ricky's Lob Wedge goes 105. Fuck. Yeah, I'm going to pitch this then, I guess. Okay. With the 90 yard pitch, a little bit of loft, a little bit of spin. Wow, that just stayed dead left on me. I guess the pitches, I should have been aware of that. They don't usually, um... The wind doesn't usually affect them as much. Good luck on this one. We've got six. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to stream tomorrow on Kick, by the way, just in case you're wondering when my next stream will be. I think tomorrow before the US Open. Um, so sometime in the early morning hours of America and pretty early here in Europe as well. I'm going to be just streaming over there on Kick for a few hours, I think. Hopefully that doesn't... Yeah, I was going to say I don't think it's enough. It wasn't enough. And Jesus Christ! What in the fuck?! It's setting up for your fourth stroke here. Okay. Not a good start. Uh, not a good putt, but that's okay. Jesus, we have this for a bogey now all of a sudden. Okay, setting up for the bogey. I mean, come on, man. What happened? It wasn't that far down heavy, though, was it? This one's tracking. All right, there you go. Just nice gave it too much juice, I guess. Bogey. bogey. Birdie, birdie, bogey start. This is like Ricky Fowler in real life now. Yesterday at the US Open, his round was just a complete roller coaster. I think he had something like eight birdies and six bogeys or something. Eight birdies, six bogeys, and four pars. I think that was his round, which is just insane. 525 yard par four here. Holy moly. LA Country Club has some long par fours like this as well, to be fair. Good shot there. We'll take that. Right down the middle of the fairway. This place almost like a par five distance nearly. Not quite, but good shot there. Puts us in prime position and a good angle with that pin tucked on the left hand side. About 195 yards to that pin from here. Alright, to be honest, I'm not gonna take that pin on too excessively. Even aiming out left here is not gonna be taking on too excessively because uh the wind and the lie. Ah, that's a poor one. That was our worst shot of the day so far. Okay, that is going to be an absolutely horrendous putt. Treacherous. A treacherous putt. You could go to two under with this putt right here. Yeah, I haven't been playing as much of this game recently, so I am a little bit rusty. I've been playing more of EA Sports BJ Tour. I've just been kind of enjoying the career mode over there. Um, when I do play this game, I generally just play the ranked mode. Ranked mode over here is pretty damn good. And I've been doing Fantasy Course of the Week, of course. Fantasy Course of the Week has been really enjoyable, actually. I've, my Fantasy Course of the Week this week was insane. If you didn't see it, by the way, check it out. Jesus, I mean, these greens are rapid. They're rapid. Because I didn't even feel the vibration there. It still this went too far, nearly. Seven feet away. First par of the round, though. Good. Not bad. On a 525-yard par four, you'll take your first par of the day, especially with two par fours, uh, two par fives rather coming up in the next five holes. Ricky Fowler looking good, ready to rock here. Pinehurst number two is uh, is lit. 561 yards. This is only 40 yards longer than the last hole. Good shot. Good shot, Ricky. Let's go, baby. Lighting's a little weird on this course, I will say. Like, Ricky looks a little, like, washed out or something. I don't know. Like, he looks super okay, dark. We're around the 230 yard like, why does he look so dark right now? You know? <laughs> he looks like he's in the shadows, but he's not. He's in the middle of the fairway in the in the sun. That is one thing. Uh, I think the lighting in this game generally needs to be improved. The lighting of the players, you know? Because why does Ricky look that dark in the middle of the sun? In the middle of a sunny fairway. Oh my god, is that that fast? Tempo's lost on me a little bit. It's an eagle putt, uphill eagle putt. Nice it's gonna be a long one, but it's uh, it's makeable. Uphill is, is better than downhill, that's for sure, in this game. No two ways around it. Let's see how you do. Give me that. Talk dirty to me. Ricky, Ricky, turn! Oh! Right by. Good effort. Wow, so, I mean, Jesus! These greens are a fucking sick joke, man. 
What in the world is up with these? They're only 155s. They feel like 190s. Oh, it's getting there. Yes! Come on, big putt back. Done. Oh, it would have been horrible if we parred that one. My god, I nearly went off the green completely. Lucky to stay on in the end. Down to two under par after that. All right, 234 yard par okay, three. Tough par one for sure. Ricky's five wood will do the trick here. Is before us. Let's have a good tee shot and try to stay a, away from a high fade points. with a little spin. Maybe that's too much. Yeah, that was a good swing. That was a good well swing. Done. Really good swing. Just a little bit too. I was aiming a little too far out. I thought that. I thought as much, but it's not going to be a, too bad there, honestly. That's a pretty good shot. All things considered, that's a really tough hole. Okay, on the green safely. Jesus Christ. All right, we need to be aware now that the greens are fast, though. We're, we're aware of it now. We need to just play for it. Jesus, this breaks a lot, too. Like, Okay. There you go. That's a good putt, I think. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Great effort, great effort. All right, tap in par, two under par. What's the goal? Pinehurst number two is like a notoriously difficult course, to be fair. Like it is a tough one. It's a big challenge, um, but I feel like we can get to five under, maybe. Dog leg to the right. I'm going for a big boy fade right around the corner. Get up, get up, get up. That could be perfect if it hits the grass. Side of the fairway. Oh, yeah, what a kick. What a kick, baby. Let's go. That was magic. That was absolutely magic from Ricky Fowler. All right, Pinehurst number two, come on. Put this close. Pitch. Well, it's a pitch, so I'm not going to play that much wind, actually. God damn it. I was uh, My tempo was way better at the start of the round for some reason. Get down this hill. Get down this hill. Oh no, that's it's so close shot. to getting down that hill, man. That's cruel. That is cruel, and now this is going to be desperate. All right, I just need to play it up here and just tap it down here. Watch this. This is going to be crazy. That's a hell of a putt. That's still going to go off the green, is it? I mean, there's nothing I could do. I literally played that putt as well as I could play it. Oh, These man, greens are sick. Uh, yeah, just These greens are sick. Yeah, this one's your fourth I shot. couldn't have played that putt any better. Genuinely. Like, I played it to perfection. Hit it as soft as I could nice hit it. I aimed shit. like a foot... All right, let's tap I aimed a foot past my goddamn ball. I don't know what else and I could have possibly done. But it's a bogey. Alright, that's okay, just harsh, honestly. It's just cruel. All right, wind with us under 500 yards and it's a par 5. This is a, this is a green light special for an eagle, man. Of course, I hit the worst tee shot of the day then. Of course, because why not? It should still be very reachable from out here, to be honest. I don't know what the lie is going to be like on this stuff, but it shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. Oh, wow, they class this as heavy rough? Huh. I'm only 155 yards away, though. <laughs> I can't believe they class this as heavy rough, though. That's kind of surprising to me. I don't know if I went too far past here. No, oh, that's pretty good. Sit. Sit. Go in. Sit! I mean, I mean, what am I supposed like what the fuck are these greens, man? Alright, click off the golf. Why is this course this firm? Into the fairway. Good stuff. Jesus, it's frustrating. Please stop. Please stop. Okay. Okay. Two under. If you can say. I don't this. birdie this one. It's a goddamn shot lost to the field. Boom! Hard. Yes, Ricky lad. Come on. You're gonna need birdies. Lad. That looks very similar to Ricky's. <laughs> Ricky's first eight holes yesterday at the U.S. Open, like eerily similar. I don't know. That's weird. I wish he was in the EA game so I could play LA Country Club with him. to this green. Back left. A little bit flatter. I need to slow, but that should work. Has a, a lot of slope to it. Oh, please so sit, please sit, please sit, please sit, please sit, please sit. Please go, please go. <laughs> Great shot. Great shot. Wonderful shot. Good Birdie shot. putt. We can get to uh, to three on the front nine here. Which I think is what Ricky shot, actually. 
Oh no! Lip out Larry strikes into my heart! Two under front nine. Two under front nine at Pinehurst, man. Alright. 621 yard par 5 compared to the 494 yard par 5 we played last time. Why did I do that two times in a row on the par 5s, man? Fucking loser. All right, it's a layup. All right, let's piece out of this sand. Such a bad lie, Jesus Lord. 55 to 65% lie. That's tough to take. A little play. All right, 175, 121. All right, this is going to be magic. That'll do. How does that say up? Here we go. This is for birdie. It's your favorite kind of birdie. Well, it's heading towards the hole. I mean, it really wasn't turning that much. I played outside the hole, too. All those lines were so so goddamn slow. Par. A par on that par five, and that's the penultimate par five as well. There's only one left now. We're looking to probably get to five under would be a good score, I think. It, it, this course does play tough with how fa firm these goddamn greens are. How fast they are when you're on them as well. They're so firm and fast, it's insane. But that's a perfect drive. If we could bounce back with a birdie here after the silly power on the last, it would be quite magical. Trick Ricky. This is what he's going to shoot today. All right. This is what he's going to shoot today. The score that I shoot in this round, he's going to shoot in real life. Okay. But right now, he's on for two under through ten. I think he'd take that 100%. Considering the conditions are getting tougher throughout the week. Front nine is definitely easier than the back nine, though. That could actually work. One of the worst golf shots I've ever hit, but that could work. I'm back down this hill a little bit. No, it didn't quite hit the hill. Right Good there. shot, though, considering how bad of one it was. All right, it breaks to the left a little bit more, I think. Or to the right, rather. There's nothing much in this, though. I mean, that's just a lie. Fuck you, game. That's just a lie. Just, uh, yeah, a the first part of the putt started to turn the opposite way of what the line said. Oh, yeah, stupid, stupid do. game. Dog leg to the right here on the 12th. All right, good drive. There we go. That's more like it now. Come on. Hopefully we can hit somewhere left of center to have a good. Come on, Ricky. I mean, I, to be honest, guys, I've never been rooting for someone as hard as I'm rooting for Ricky uh, today. I, I really haven't. Like he does, he deserves it. 100%. He deserves it. After all the shit he's been through over the last few years with his golf game. Um, just in general, like after finishing in the top five at every major way back when and just the struggles he's been through, I would love, love, love to see him win one. I feel like it would be it would be a long time coming, you know, Come on, Bob. Uh, Ricky Fowler winning a major and joining his buddies. They're all major champions, you know, like Justin Thomas and Jordan Spieth yeah. and all that and seeing Ricky win one. Um, they both missed the cut, I think, Jordan Spieth and Justin Thomas. Hopefully they stick around to watch Ricky and congratulate him on the final hole that's my dream right, right there you know obviously a long way to go and I, I don't know if ricky can get it done but i really am i'm i'm i've never been rooting for someone as hard as i am for ricky this week oh we nearly chip it in i don't know it's just like he's always been a favorite of mine and he's been a tough guy to be a favorite of because of how close he's come on multiple occasions like when he won the players when there was people talking about how he was the most overrated player on tour that was a one of the best moments as a as a Ricky Fowler fan because that was like one of the most unbelievably clutch performances down the stretch that I've ever seen. Um, we'll hit three wood. We'll hit three wood. That's fine. Careful of the green. I've just is elevated, and if you miss this short, I think maybe Tiger Woods in 2019 when he was in contention for the Masters and eventually went on to to win that, or when he won the Tour Championship. Like that might have been like the only two times where I was like as emotionally invested with the golfer competing at the weekend, you know? I just would unbelievably love to see this happen. All right, stop. Stop doing your little fake swings and fucking swing it, all right? And you get the, get out of that habit. Landing on the short stuff could be good. Good shot. Good shot, Ricky. Well done. I like it. I like and we finally make another birdie. 
All right, this putt for Surely to God we should make this one. And we do. Ricky Fowler plants it into the middle of the cup. And that's three under, baby. Let's go. Five birdies, two bogeys, three under par. And we're tracking. We're tracking to that five under score. Brought your score down to three under. Yeah, you definitely didn't hit the sweet spot with that one. Gosh. That is so slow, man. Is this going to be classed as heavy rough, too, or is that sand? Good luck on your Yeah, they're classed not as heavy rough. I feel like that's more like pine straw than anything, right? I'm going to hit this. Play a little bit of a fade -a It's too much club. Hit the upslope! Hit it! Ah. Don't go in the bunker. 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 Mm, okay. That's fine. It's fine. Little chip a It's not an easy chip, this one, though, because there's literally no green to work with. Great chip there. Magical chip, Ricky. Thank you very Thanks much, sir. That, that is beautiful. Nice well done, sir. Well done. Well done. So Minus three, three through 14. Three Great up and down. Point. Important not to get the PBFU there. Right, and nice I think we need one more club. 206 should be the one. The All right, how about a little hole in one, Ricky style? Matthew Fitzpatrick got a hole in one this week at the US Open, which was nice to see. No, that was fast. Knew that was fast the minute I hit it, though. Just felt it right away. That's going to be through the green as well, I think. Get on off there. Get on off there, son. I can chip it now, at least. To be honest, it's not that bad of a putt, really, but... I'll chip it regardless. Why'd that carry so far? I don't understand why that carried so fucking far, man. I bar I didn't even hit that chip that hard. For our third shot. It carried, like, almost the whole way. Way to chip that one close. Ah! Well done. Well, put your score up to two under after. par. Okay, right. here we go. Par five, sixteenth hole. That's at time here, number two. Okay, maybe. Water. Okay, we'll get away with it. I knew it was slow, but I thought it was gonna be slower. That's all right. That's all right. Come on, can we get on this in two still? I think this one's short enough to get on in two. Five thirty-six, I think it was, and we hit a good drive still. That'll do nicely. All right, and here we go. Come on. 215 yards out. 218. Perfect. Ricky, come on. It's your moment. Birdie here. Five under. This wins you the open, buddy. U.S. Open, that is. Not the open. Shots you can win the open next next really month if you want, nicely. Ricky. That would be great. What a shot. What a shot. What a shot, baby. Come on, stop now. Don't be cruel. Don't be cruel. Stop. Thank you very much. That'll do for the approach. Yeah, uh, they all have every okay, hole has these little funnels away from the green. That make it that much more difficult. Well, but Ricky Fowler makes an eagle. Come on! Oh, Come on, Ricky! Bounce back eagle from the bogey. The three putt bogey on the last oh, well, well, we didn't actually putt. Three times we, we putted once. I don't know why I said three putt. It's uh two chips Four and a putt. <laughs> All right, let's see. Okay, Hold him one time. Ricky, this is your moment. Downwind, downhill. Oh, that was one of the worst shots. Sorry. <laughs> that swing plane on the way back. Jesus Christ. That was not very straight at all. And off you come. All right, my chipping's dog shit in this game now, though. I mean my chipping's really bad in this game. I need to make sure I don't go off the green here again. I don't know how my chipping's somehow already this dog shit. Or all of a sudden this dog shit, I should say. All right, played it extra safe that time because of what happened the last time. If we bogey this one, this would be a little bit of a silly munter move. I can't even see the fucking hole there. It's getting there. Yes! Rookie, my boy! Alright, we need to beat, we need to birdie 18 to hit that 5 under target. Come on, Ricky. Right, birdie on 18 here wins you the US two Open. Under. Okay, the 18th hole at Pinehurst number 2 is a par. Oh, four. yeah. That's how it's done, baby. Beautiful drive. 
Is it going to be a beautiful drive? Yes, it is. It's going to be perfect now. It's going to be absolutely perfect now here at Pinehurst. Ricky Fowler with a beautiful oh, yeah. shot. Come on. About Trick Rick, it's time, pin. baby. Be good. Be good, Jahuria. Come on! Ricky to win well the US done. Open. Nice little shot there. And here you go. And Bruce join Pucks the history books. So far, Ricky so Fowler wins. Well done to Ricky Finish Fowler wins. Oh, I just love to see the whole reaction of, of everything if Ricky wins. I've never been pulling for something harder, guys. Keep him in your prayers. Keep him in your thoughts. Ricky Fowler is going to win the US Open. All right. Let's let's bloody manifest it into reality, okay? Let's manifest it. Oh, I mean, I just can't. I just can't get enough. Those foot joy uh, caps kind of creep me out. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, check. This is the new course, Pinehurst number two. Plays really well. Really fun test. A good challenge. Uh, we managed to shoot five under on Master on my first attempt, so not too bad. With the uh, future US Open champion. All right. I hope. I pray. I'm going to be so sad if he doesn't do it. I mean, it's obviously a huge possibility that he doesn't do it. He's not been in contention in a major championship for a long time, but still, it would be awesome to see. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Make sure, as I said, to check me out on socials. Link down, down, links down below in the description. And, of course, to follow me on Kick for streams. See you next time. Peace out.